Yo, what up, people? Welcome back. Uh, my name is Tahir Moore. I'm Patrick Cloud. And this is another episode of Damn Internet. You're scary. Hey, we're in the KOS. We are in KOS. It's the new background. We got a special guest. You know what I'm saying? So, so we, we did everything new. We had to have a special guest. Mm -hmm. And I don't think he's ever been on the show before. He's been never no. been he not, 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 damn it, just zooming with the We homies. have like a um, thousand shows together. It's hard to, to say like who's been on what. Yes, that's exactly <laughs> it's what like it we're is. Always working together. And then yeah, you, if you was on zooming with the homies, then you probably was on there with him because he was always on there. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then an hour into he took his shirt off. But ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I don't think I was on with Pat. Really? Not once? Uh, no, I don't zoom think in? so. I don't think so. Not on the same episode. I don't know. I don't know. There was a lot of them. It was a lot yeah, of episodes. How many, do you know how many episodes you have in your playlist? I have to look and say. I it really has to do. be over 100, right? Yeah, it's over 100 for sure. It's <laughs> over 100 for sure. That's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, no further ado, I want to introduce to the show, first time, Mr. Keon Poli. <laughs> <laughs> what up? <laughs> What's up, man? Thank you for me. Thank, it, thank you for making time, man. You being know. a comedian, actor. He's his wife, uh, Cardi Dodd, is is has written and she's producing and a uh, show, her own show with uh, uh, Ben Out of Shape, or I'm sorry, they, that's what it used to go out of Ben Out of Shape. Now it's with um, what's the production company? Harvest. Harvest Studios. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the, one of the leads over there is a guy named Bentley, and he's the same guy that produced Martin. Um, I think he, did he Jamie do Fox. Jamie Foxx too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Jamie Foxx too. Uh, Martin, I think he was just a head writer. Okay. And then Jamie, I think he produced, but I'm, okay. not, I'm not sure on the history. But also Family Time, In the yeah. Cut, uh, a lot of great Love shows. Love That Girl. <laughs> Love That Girl. So uh, this is a big deal, man. And Cardi Dog has been funny, bro. Oh, yeah. She's, She's hilarious. Funny. Yes. You would never think it. You know what I'm saying? It's always great when cute girls are funny, too. Like, uh -huh. I didn't know how funny Farron was uh -huh. until we started, like, really hanging out. Right. And I was like, yo, you... You're, you're low-key hilarious. Actually funny. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, not the fake funny where you're just like, <laughs> right? Because like, I want to smash. I want to smash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> you're so silly. Uh -huh. Get naked. Get naked. No. <laughs> Let me see if you're funny when you're naked. That's all I'm saying. Right. I'm saying. Ah, I was kidding. Do but... five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I see how funny you are, motherfucker. <laughs> but you got the kids too. You got two two young boys. Mm -hmm. and I love how one of the one of the greatest things I feel like that came from the quarantine was the pushing of the envelope to try new things, like involve your wife in your content, and then put the kids in there. You're yeah. doing a lot of stuff with the kids too. Yeah, I wasn't gonna do none of that. Mm -hmm. My plan always was to. Keep them as hidden as possible. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that was always the plan. Yeah. And then quarantine was just like, we need something to do. Right. <laughs> and then they, but they, you know what it was? They wanted to do it. Yeah, your she oldest. To do it. Your oldest, oldest was really big into it. He's a ham. They, <laughs> we, they've been on set so much with this show. Mm hmm. We have to write them into an episode because they, yesterday they was trying to j get in the scenes. <laughs> what do like, you mean we, trying? They were like, I'm, I'm going to go up there. And we we're like, no, <laughs> we're shooting. It was like, well, I need to be in there. Yeah, <laughs> and then he's sitting in the right director's in. chair, like with his <laughs> <laughs> with his hand on his chin. He's like, I saw him on one right. picture. He was like, they were rolling, and yeah, he had he this filmed, camera out. Yeah. He was like, I don't like the shots they're getting. I oh, think we damn. need yeah. He a pickup shot right phone. here. Starts pointing like this. Yeah, I can see it's going over <laughs> he's here. On his phone, I Shoot catch him here, with his hands on his, and he's just always watching. <laughs> yeah. But they were like, yeah, they said they want to be on there. So we were like, the the reason we haven't written them in. Because I don't trust them. <laughs> Not to be shy. Right. I don't know what the hell they're going to say. Oh, yeah. They're uh, going to go off script. Because every time we do try to shoot stuff with them and we give them lines, uh -huh. they're like, I don't give a damn what yeah. you said. Or one time he was like, I think we should do it this. I was like, oh. first of all, you're fine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Calm said, first of all, you're, you're fine. <laughs> I just feel like we played it this way. <laughs> you're fine. Well, hold on. Before we Relax. go any further with that, y'all already know what's going on. Make sure you start throwing those themes uh, are those genres for the song in before we go any further? Uh, we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. We got a very special guest in the building. Uh, the world's open, but it might be closing, and everybody's Man, touring, so we got to talk about that. That was close. I mean, I, that was so quick. I, it was. It mm -hmm. was just April. It was just April where they like dropped the mask mandate in April. Wasn't it like 25th or something? Like some late April? I, yeah, but yeah. I, I remember looking at it and it was like, damn, now. It's back. As I just read something today that said LA County is thinking about people making people show their vaccination cards and, and proving their vaccination. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk about all of that yeah. today. But y'all go ahead and start throwing the genres in. Uh shout out to Audio Boom, man. I'm, i met with uh Eric on Friday, man. Oh, and dope. yeah, we got some new things in the works. Uh but uh shout out to a team supporting the team, man, and believing mm -hmm. in the brand. I remember when we first 
talked to Eric, and he was a fan of the show. He was like, I fucking love your intro, how y'all switch it up every time. Oh, okay. He was like, remember? He was like, I've yeah. always wanted to do a podcast like that, but you guys beat me to it. Oh, right. And he was oh, like, right, right, right. I do Yeah, okay. so shout out to him, man, for just like digging us and growing with us, and you guys as well uh, for mm. being with us and growing with us. I don't know why, but it feels so much more official now that we actually have these mics in our face. Oh, these are very nice mics. They're great. You They're, hear yourself and you can hear it? yourself. Yeah. yeah. So y'all couldn't hear yourself before? No, it, no. Was a, it was a crap shoot. Sometimes you know it posts and be like, "Oh, the audio one was trash." <laughs> we had no headphones. We were we I, up until audio now. We've been shooting the show with two iPhones, with just prayers, mm-hmm. just two iPhones, iPhones and, and we prayers, had yeah. mics and everything. But like, we had no producer over there doing sound checks and, right. and like turning the level. So we were just like, like you said, it was a crap shoot. Mm-hmm. And it was only like maybe six episodes that the, the audio was just horrible. On. Right, right, right. So I mean, it's not a horrible track record because we've been doing this for. Two years now? Yeah, since 2019, right? Yeah. yeah. But you be um, needing the audio, before that. It I makes remember it one episode, I knocked my microphone out and didn't know. Ooh. But because I didn't have my headphones on, yep. oh, so the whole episode it, so was, was out. This is all they saw. <laughs> oh, that's like, the worst. No, everybody that's else you can hear, worst. and I was just like... Especially when like, you're this, into it, and you're just like... What if they thought it was a joke? They was like, this is a long bit. And it was this a good 10 minutes. No, that's me on Twitch. <laughs> it was a good That's me on Twitch. And they, I'll, I'll literally I either like cut my gameplay out or my audio out. And yeah. I'll just be going and going and going. And then I'll look and I was like, oh, they haven't been seeing anything for five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we got as far as these. Uh, I see Soka. Um, somebody said reggae tone. Um, rave music, like EDM. Um, yeah, I guess so. Uh, and then Soka again. They said that would be fire. Soka. People keep saying Soka. What's Soka? I don't. I don't. I'm remember. not 100 percent sure. What is what is Soka music? We can't we even play start, it. Like for we got to start learning new rip genres at this point because they're they're going off off the beaten path. Right. Like we're getting we're getting real deep. I don't want to type in Soka and then have to play it and then we have to mute that part, but. I, I gotta get a reference for what soca music is. Oh, it's That's... Caribbean. Oh, okay. Hmm. R and B because Keon can sing. I Keon forgot about Keon. Can actual sing. vocals. They tried to have me do it on the show. I would not do it. <laughs> Why would you do <laughs> it? Because it's enough. I'm already half naked you know every episode. I, then they're like, I I'll just swing too. I mean, people sing like too. Keon who have talent. They're like nah. Like singing and just be like nah. I had a homie when I was working at White Castle's this dude named Big Drew. I mean, we called him Big Drew for a reason. Drew was probably like 6'3", maybe like 280. He was a big dude. Played football and all of that, but could sing his ass off. Mm-hmm. But you asked him to sing, and he wouldn't do it. Nah. But I feel that, though, because it's like, you don't always want to do it. It's like being a really good no, actor. No, you always want to do it in the house, in the car, But that's like when you want to. But it's like, yeah. you know, if you're an actor, you, you can't just be like, oh, yeah, I, this guy's a great actor. Do a do scene, scene real quick. Yeah. Right. It's just like, or like yeah. when people tell us, tell me a joke. It's like, what, nigga, yeah. what? I get that part, but I'm talking about like... Just, just he would only sing like at White Castles when he's cooking. It was like, but he could sing. He was in his mood. But his thing, he could sing reasons. He could get up high for a big dude. He can get up high. I'm like, dude, you're not gonna make it to the lead. Your your stats are trash, but you could <laughs> sing. He could have been Ruber Studdard, but it's like, you really holding on to this life dream of making it to nigga. Nobody wants you. What did he play? Uh, he was a tackle, but he wasn't even starting. He was like, nigga. What? How old was he? We was in high school. Oh, was. Why, why was you putting him down so much? Right. You never go make it to the league. No, I didn't tell, I would, Did I wouldn't tell him that to us. I didn't say that to his face. I just, uh, I just, I went to a game and I was like, "Ooh, that's my nigga, though." <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Where the one on the bench waving the towel? Hey, he got vocals though. He started trying to <laughs> plant it in his mind. You did okay, but did you record your song? <laughs> that part right there. <laughs> did you record um, the album? So we're gonna, what we gonna do? Have to do uh, soca? Or we gonna try to do something with Keon can kind of sing? No, we're not gonna do that, guys. Come on, Keon, man. Come on. I've, I've been exploited so much over the last <laughs> week. Let, Get naked. We, we let Sing. It. Take it out. We want to see it. Wait, what, what, it what, set, what set is this? I ain't have to do that. <laughs> Wave it around in a circle. Well, that part we're not going to ask you to do for sure. <laughs> that part. It, it, we're not do even going to actually take your shirt off. We just go like, so basically what we do, we change the song every episode. We never do the same thing twice. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, and you can uh, jump in uh, with the uh, ad-libs or you can jump, jump in with the verse. So... Uh, okay. We pick we pick one of the songs, uh, one of the genres that the the squad comes up with, and we just kind of go from there. So, um, what do you think of Pat? Everybody was saying Soka, but I'm not familiar with Soka. We might have to do Soka know. next week. 
because we want to make sure we do it. Do some try research. To do some justice. Yeah, do some research and try to do some justice. Yeah, uh, I'm not really sure about stuff like do what. What is so good? I don't know. I Caribbean. Don't know yeah, I don't it's really just know. Like Caribbean. I mean, there's the only thing that I, I know is uh, R&B. Uh, somebody said animation comedy trap, like American Dad, <laughs> Family Guy style. <laughs> That's um, a, that is very specific. Super specific. They've but been I, thinking I, about that for a while. Right. I love it. It's like that one episode where Steve was singing when Stan was locked up in jail and he was singing about his mom. Bro, that's my favorite. Dog. That's my favorite episode. Of what? <laughs> American Dad. Of what? Wait, wait, when you, who was so locked up? Stan, the dad, was locked up in jail. Mm -hmm. And I think it was, I forgot what he was like. I don't know if it was rubbernecking. He was rubbernecking and he right. hit a lady, killed her. No, he... He was rubbing yeah. and gotten bad accident bad and went accident. to jail. Uh -huh. And Steve went to go see him and was singing this song about his mama. He's like, Oh, my mama. <laughs> he said, mm, if you Oh, mama. my God. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ooh, if you wasn't my mama. <laughs> <laughs> he he had some amazing vocals like the, the well dude whoever, can really sing yeah, yeah he like actually releases music right yeah no he Helen was, Keller give it <laughs> you got your the eyes. Yeah. he has a couple of bangers actually <laughs> it's such a good what episode so <laughs> hey we got Key on the six yeah <laughs> yes that's got my him. shit okay uh, trap soul like Bryson Tiller yeah I feel like we just did that though I feel yeah. like we just did trap soul something like that. Um, I like animation. I like R and B. What if we just did? Like, we did a acapella R and B. Acapella? Like shot. Yeah, like do, na da do, na do. We just <laughs> oh, do shit. it like that. Uh, like steal the beat or do a different version of it. No, let's just steal it. Let's just hijack it. Barbershop quartet in yeah. full effect. Barbershop quartet. Or, or I guess style. we're a trio. Yeah, yeah. Barbershop trio. trio. Yeah, I want to be the so little what guy. Do I do? I um, do. we one of us will do the beat. And the other person will start to rap, sing, whatever. Oh, and you can just it. hop in with the ad libs or you can hop in with a verse. Gotcha. We typically try to rhyme scary with hairy, merry, dairy, binary, ancillary. <laughs> <laughs> ancillary. I don't think have we done that before? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Not, I have not tried that yet. Yeah. So Terry, whatever. So that's that's basically what we do. And then sometimes okay. we'll switch off beats and the other person will go. So, uh, Pat, you want to start it off or what? Yeah, I'll do the I'll do the beat. You guys are the sultry ones. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Should I just Should I just rip off Shy or do why something not? Else? Yeah. I mean, okay. whatever you want to do. Well, why can't I just join in with him? Nah, bro. Because <laughs> it's, it's 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 a no. it's a several part harmony. Okay. Well, <laughs> we'll join in, but you're still gonna do a little something. You're gonna do some ad libs and you, and or a verse. Okay. And the verse is not long. Like we we do three to four bars before we mess up. <laughs> it's it's really bad. Yeah, it's I'm bad. gonna be terrible. Yeah. Oh, well, this is perfect. No, it's perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah you being ter <laughs> terrible is perfect. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what they all are. Perfect. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> Take this in. <laughs> We're bad too. All right, I'm gonna just speed it up so we don't get flagged. Yeah. The very first time that I got so hairy, I turned on the internet and was scary. I was hanging with my girl named Mary, but I was caught up in ancillary classes. I flunked, and my mama gonna be my ass. I'm hoping Keon sings, and if I am. Ever in the internet again. again, I will be sure that it's not scary to my friends. <laughs> <laughs> it's like harmonies don't work and I, nobody I don't knows. Know that. That. <laughs> what are you about to say? Yeah. Like, the whole uh, time I was just like this. <laughs> friends, we just got. Everybody we just did the vowel. Like, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? We just did the general, general vowel of the word. Like, friends. <laughs> <laughs> but the bravado was on point. The bravado was on point. Y'all saw the. It. it sounded like a bunch of ghosts. I didn't <laughs> it's <just an> <laughs> 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 like you, <laughs> It's like if you were in a haunted house where a bunch of black people died. <laughs> you're just like, what are those? No, it sounds think, beautiful. You think black ghosts would be like that? Yeah. <laughs> but if you're like, I'm scared, yeah. but I kind of want to hear where this is going. Listen, to find out you're a ghost, but you can still sing, though, you'd be like, Ooh. 
Mick? Was that Mick? Somebody? He's booing in harmony? Okay. Because I thought they did that because they were sad. So you hear somebody sad close to you that's harmonizing, like, ooh. You're like, oh. oh <laughs> man, what you doing? Keep being sad. Hang on. Yeah. You sound good to get me. Give me more. Tour. Give me more. <laughs> we can take this on the road. Oh, no, we can't. <laughs> <laughs> From haunted house to haunted house. <laughs> tour for other goats who can't sing. <laughs> oh, that was good times, man. Whew. Ghost singers, black, yeah. black, dead black ghosts. We got to reach out to Just Jazz to do all uh, a compilation video of all of the intros. That would be amazing. <laughs> Shout out to her. She did a compilation video for the funniest moments of. She does some good, good comps. Yeah, she does. She, she does. She does so. some great comps. We That's funny. Here. Somebody Jeff said, uh, "Would he be a ghost writer?" That's pretty oh, funny. Uh, Pun, right. I, pun, I see pun. what you did there. Pun uh, Give city. My Jeff life. Pun city. Pun. Um, so what what we got going today, Pat? Um, I think the biggest thing in the story, uh, uh, biggest story in the news is um, all of these uh, white celebrities coming out and just saying like, yeah, you know what? I don't I don't be bathing. Yo, <laughs> I don't know what started this. If this was a question or if somebody just admitted that in an interview. Yeah. But so far, Ashton Kutcher, Mila Kunis, Kristen Bell, uh, some 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 people's kids too. Um, who is it? Uh, oh, Ashton Kutcher and, uh, and um, Mila Kunis's kids. Uh, they said they only bathe the, their children when you can see dirt on them. Um, that would be every day, cause kids get dirty every day. every day. You every day. you 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 give them a bath before they go to bed and you wake up and they got chocolates on their face. You'd be like, what what were you doing in your sleep? But do you know how dirty you'd have to be for it to actually to visibly show you. Show? like I could touch a germ infested doorknob. Right. All I want, rub it on my face and everything. Mm-hmm. And well, I mean, I'm also black. Yeah. yeah. Like what? Like what? Like how easily does dirt show up on like fairer skin? You have to be cleaning chimneys <laughs> to like have dirt physically show up on you like that. So what are kids doing? I don't know. The, like that's the, uh, I get kids your point. Be like, dirt and sand and stuff though. So they should. I mean, if depending on how young they are, they should get dirty pretty easy because they uh, love floors. They right. love rolling and, and crawling on the floor. And your feet get your feet tell oh, feet, the truth. Feet, feet, feet be will black. always tell us. Yeesh. Listen, the I've never seen dirt on my feet unless women, I was walking through dirt. <laughs> women in these sundresses in the summertime be so feet fine, be but they sandals be telling the fools, "Oh, you've been out all day." It's now like it's gotten to the fact that like the people like the Rock are like dropping are, their shower schedule. Like actually, I the shower Rock this time was that, on it. Time. He was like, nope, not one of them. <laughs> yeah. I clean. And, and it's, it's crazy. Like, you expect that from, from, I guess, from guys, but I didn't expect that from uh, from, from the wives to, to just come I out Oh, yeah. I did. And then even with, with even with the guys, like, it's crazy that, like, they're still doing, like, that they're admitting this and, and, and really just living life like this because there's so many different outlets for, like, manliness. And that's the thing right now. And, like, guys are going to spas. They're getting... Um, they're getting um, manicures, pedicures. You know, you got like hammer and nail and things like that. Like, right. and you have Hawthorne, which is a premium men's grooming brand that mm-hmm. makes it e- quick and easy to be confidently at your best with skincare and hair care made just for you. We're talking about you got shampoo, you got conditioner, you got uh, body soap, you got lotions, uh, everything that you need tailored to your specifications, uh, specifications. Um, and it's like, why would you not take advantage of this? Guys, this is this is literally made for us. And it's one of a kind. Like, you go online, you you answer a couple of questions, you tell them what type of person you are mm-hmm. when you go out, are you the type of person that's the life of the party, do you uh, kind of stand on the wall and watch everybody, what do you drink? And from those questions, they take all of those answers and they, they create you a one of a kind scent. And you get the scent in the shampoo, in the body wash, in the, in the, in the bar soap. In the lotion, you get, and it's tailored specifically for you. And you can even get cologne, so no one out will smell like you. And it's like you have all of these options with one with grooming. <laughs> Why would you not take advantage of this? Um, super amazing. I've been a fan of Hawthorne since we first started working with them. Oh, I still yes. have my cologne. Mm-hmm. Uh, just ran out of my shampoo and I bummed about it because I got to go back online and grab some more of that. But they keep everything, so all I do is just Body sign wash. in and tell them, you know, log in and just order what I need. Uh, and they make it super easy. So, like, when you don't have to even leave the house to get your grooming together, why would you not take advantage of this, fellas, right now? 
Listen, we, we're this year is almost done. Mm -hmm. You still got time to change, okay? You don't have to <laughs> smell these celebrities smelling like yesterday. That okay? pandemic mustiness. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you can get yourself together right now with Hawthorne, uh, and I encourage you guys right now to go to Hawthorne.co. That's mm -hmm. .co. Use the promo code DIYS to get 10% off your first purchase. Again, that's H-A-W-T-H-O-R-N-E dot co. That's C-O. Use the promo code DIYS and get 10% off your first purchase. Purchase mm -hmm. Hawthorne.co promo code DIYS 10 percent off your first purchase. Shout Do it now to Hawthorne. You know what, I'm saying? what you got over there, Pat? Uh, with what? <laughs> That's your soda. This right here or yeah. this right here? No. Oh, is that what you got drinking? This is the this is the gin in Canada, and this is the peach juice. Yeah, is there any more? <laughs> is there any more gin in Canada? Oh, I, 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 there is. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll, I thought, we'll, you, I thought you were like, up. yeah. yeah Do you have any vegan gin? No. You we'll, be, you uh, be drinking? I gotta get your, your eating and workout regimen. I'm be, just I be drinking for no do you, reason. Are you like one of those people that's like, yeah, hey, I eat wherever I want? No. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll pour it off camera because they didn't they didn't pay us. So yeah. you know I'm. A, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I remember people saying that this? on shows before and stuff like like yeah they didn't pay us for that. It's like I was like maybe I could shout them now that we're in that position. Yep. Like no, nah. because it's not even just the payment thing. It's also like if if. Especially when it comes to like liquor distributors, like they have so many restrictions with liquor. Like you can't pour from the more from the bottle than what it looks like is missing. Like the part that's missing has to be like what's in the cup next to it, and you're not really supposed to be drinking on camera when you're doing the promos for the liquor. It's so many restrictions. Yeah, yeah, bro. Like that's why people be trying to get these liquor brand. Deals and stuff like that. It's like, bro, good luck, man. It's right. a lot that goes on with that. So we pull up aware. off camera, you know what I'm saying, until Telemore do hits me with that. And shout out to them because we had a Thank really you, good sir. meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, Just two years? When I was in New York. Yeah, let me grab one of them too. I always laugh when people be like, do you drink? Right. <laughs> Does he? I'm, I'm yeah, right. <laughs> Listen, Keon, <laughs> first <glad>. time. <laughs> <laughs> on Zooming with the homies, I'm pretty sure he was cross-faded off of everything. I was. I, I was on everything. <laughs> cheers, sir. He vaccinated you, himself? Sir. Boom. All right. Yeah. A little cheer no, right I, there. Uh, I like that people think that stuff, though. Mm -hmm. I assume every healthy person doesn't drink or smoke. I, it's just like... I love it. I love it. Like, people be like, assumption. you guys are... You guys are some of the cleanest friends. But yeah, sure. Yeah. That's what's up. Cool. All right. Great. Cleanest I know friends? some of the... Some, like, Dion, uh, Deshaun Ross. Uh, you know Deshaun. Yeah, yeah. Deshaun only... Drinks water to balance out the alcohol. What he do doesn't mean? drink. He doesn't drink tea. He doesn't drink any any soda. No juice or anything. It's either water or alcohol. Mm -hmm. That's all he drinks. I mean, mm -hmm. that is like all. That I'm. I used to be like a. I mean, I used to be. I I drink like socially. You mm -hmm. know what I mean, like we're out, we're doing something. I'm gonna have a drink. We doing. And then the pandemic hit. Yes. Oh, and man. then Same. I was like, it's Tuesday at 2 o'clock. Listen. Why not? But the here's the thing. The pandemic made it so much more when fun. When everything opened up, we were supposed to turn that off, and yep. I, never, I never turned Absolutely it off. Absolutely not. So it'd be like a Tuesday, and me and Cotty would just be loaded. Let for me no tell you reason. something. <laughs> for no That's reason. fun, though. When the kids go to bed, it's like, pull me something. But when it opened, when the city opened, that implied that, like, okay, let's go out to to bars and at this point it's, that's mm -mm. just not safe so it's just like we be at the house just drunk mm -hmm. oh, watching shows let me tell you something I heard Drake say it in the song he said you can't drink all day if you don't start in the morning and I have been I have been living that life for a year <laughs> <laughs> now I will say though like when I have something to do then yes I shut it all down absolutely, yeah, absolutely. so we've been we've been shooting so like mm -hmm. my dietary everything has been like Good. super yeah cause I had to I had to cut it yeah. so I was like alright but then as soon as like I think we're done shooting this week. Mm -hmm. I'm eating burritos every day. <laughs> <laughs> I, I might I might drink alcohol with every meal. It's also all the Zooms, too. Like, if you have a, a block shoot of, like, three or four shows, you know, if you're shooting from, like, 10 to, to 5 p.m. and it's all on Zoom, yeah, it's like, yeah, pull up. Right. <laughs> I don't like drinking in public, like, to the point where I, if I'm at home, that drink is going to be... In public, yeah. it might be two, three drinks, four right. max. Yeah. Right. But at home, or if I'm at somebody's house and sloppy. I'm close to... Oh, oh man. If I'm, with, if I'm with people I yes. fuck with, mm -hmm. and, like, we're at the house or something... Oh. Listen, Slizzard. I'm going to tell you what. My roast... <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything. My <laughs> roast... I'm glad we turned the cameras off after the roast, because I... Farron had to drive the DeLorean home. <laughs> Damn, I, I'm done. Fuck the future. I almost went back to jail. Here <laughs> <laughs> was done. I was slur, and it was so good. Everything was good, that, but like, because I was drinking while we were on stage. Yeah. And then I had like four or five drinks before. 
four, and then after the roast, I probably had another five. And this is all Johnny Walker. Open bars are tough. Man, listen. Open they are them. tough. We had you, so much alcohol to get rid of, You though. get so used to going there, mm-hmm. you'd be like, this is my fifth time here. Yes. yes. What, is, what, what happened? Going. And then if you're eating, you're like, I'm not that drunk. So you just keep eating and right. keep drinking, and then next thing you know, you're like, I, this, let me tell you. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's funny, because uh, this past weekend was my boy's birthday, and it was like the first time I had been out to like a bar setting. And it was it was a little weird, yeah. but I instantly remembered why you know the pandemic was fun, because I got um, two drinks and two shots, $80. Ugh. Yes. And yep. that will... Let you know how many times you're at the bar throughout mm-hmm. the night. Open bar, you'd be like, "What time? What? How, what, what drink is this? Fifth or sixth? Right. A bar so like all you're that? Doing is tipping. Yeah, at that point. But yeah. then it's like a bar like where I was at is just like I know this is my second time because it's also my last time. Right. <laughs> Listen, bro. <laughs> bro, your wallet was like Pat. Drop eighty times. Oh, no. He was like, "Open." I was like, "Open what? <laughs> Leave what open? <laughs> Leave what open? The bottle?" <laughs> I went on a I went on the road with the comic uh, recently and. He was like, we're going to buy drinks for, you know, the people that we're out with. Uh-huh. He's like, I forgot my card. I was like, okay, no problem. Right. So I put my card out. He was, I was like, just just leave it open. You know what I mean? And they ordered one round. The bill came back. I was like, let's close that. <laughs> <laughs> one round. Listen. <laughs> one round. Like, clubs and bars be getting over so hard on these Yo. drinks. The markup is $300 to $500, yeah. dude. It's, it's, I, was, I was going to clubs before I, mean, I was percent, old enough dollars. to just buy a bottle yes so i actually thought that alcohol was that expensive they would be i thought that gray goose was like a high-end right. no it's like 200 dollars bottle and then i and then when i became old enough to to drink and i would i'll be like this is a like a regular price bottle we're just trapped in this club and you're just like either you pay this or you're you don't drink right and people well are that's just why like, that's why right. people pregame so hard yeah right we were the king like when we were in co- coming up when i first started drinking like a young age not young age, but in, you know, teens, late yeah. teens, whatever. Right. And then we would just go so damn hard. On the pregame. During the pregame. Now, mm-hmm. were y'all pregaming at the, like, at the dorm or y'all, like, We were pull pregaming up? in our apartment. Okay. Then pull up. Yeah. We'd have a bottle in the car, pregame in the yes. car. And to the point, Can't though, we're, we're in line and, Fucked like, up. yeah, they're like, all right, let me see your ID. I'm like. <laughs> you, you ruined your time, but but we're trying to like stay sober looking enough so they yeah. even let us in. Yes. Right. So and then you know everybody's smoking everything, so yeah. we're just like, yeah, yeah, I'm I'm fine. Have yeah. you guys ever pregame so hard that by like you said, like it was kind of ruined by the time you were there? Like you I were did that sick one time done? at a Raider game. <laughs> I went too hard in the tailgate and didn't make the game. Let me tell you something. Like you passed only, out? I feel like that's the life. one place you don't want to go too hard at because a fight is bound to happen at a Raider game. You're just waiting I didn't for make win. it into the game. Oh, my God. I can't. And it, it was the, the only time in my life I've ever drank like not like a pro. Like, I didn't eat that morning. Mm. And I was, uh, that was I, the only time that happened? Yeah. And I showed up late, and I was trying to catch up. Uh. And so I'm trying to eat while I'm drinking. I'm drinking, drinking, drinking. It's I never going to work like I that. I had brought a young lady with me, too. And next thing you know, I am like, I'm going to throw up everywhere. And you and I did. And I, did. Ah. I threw up everywhere, and then I was done. I slept in somebody's car oh, till wow. the game was over. They drove me home. I slept the rest of the day. The next day, I'm trying to. It was my only time in my life where I'm trying to piece stuff together. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, nigga, you Damn. was on. Apparently, I sucked a random titty in the parking lot. And it wasn't the girl you? No. It wasn't the girl what that I came were? with. It was some random You lady. sucked a, who let you? Yeah. I don't know. There was a random. There was throwing. Hey, Raider cute. games are different. <laughs> Raider games are different. Some there was some Raider <laughs> fan was like, "Oh, you drunk man? Let me help you out with some titty, <laughs> with some titty suckage." Because I kind of vaguely, I, I kind of remembered it, and I was like, "Hey, man, that sucks some lady's titty." And they were like, "Yeah, you did." <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you did. And then threw up. Listen, if you're too drunk on a plane, they will. Um tape you to the seat. No, no. They won't even let you board if you're too drunk. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, they will... Like, I remember I was on a plane and this lady was hammered. Mm-hmm. And her husband was trying to, like, like fill in for her and they was like, ma'am, they kept asking the questions. She's like, why do you keep asking me all these questions? <laughs> oh, that's the It was, like, perfect. They that's called the, best. the security that came and squatted her ass off. She was cursed. Fuck all of uh, you! Slurring your words <laughs> is the fuck most... Fuck all of you! Slurring your words is the most embarrassing part of being drunk besides falling. Oh, yeah. Oh God! It is. It's such I've a. I've fallen tale. once. Um, on, in a plane? No, no. I was. Well, we while were, you were drunk? Yeah, we. You were pre- fell one time in your life. What are with all these low stats? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a perfect. Like I'd be yeah. like, Damn. I get to, a, I get to a point, 
and then I shut it down, bring it back, and then I like I drink hard early, uh-huh. like, and then we'll shut it down late. I before I go to bed, I'll drink like a gallon of water, so I don't yes. wake up with any hangover. Advil like, too. I drink like a pro. Advil and, like, and huh. ibuprofen uh, will definitely help you the next yeah. morning. It it, it 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 I don't know why I don't know if it's like it's, it's like a blood thinner and makes it good I don't know. But you take it, that the night before? I before mm-hmm. I go to sleep. Yeah, no, like that's what Cotty does. I just drink water because your your hangover is from dehydration. Dehydration, right? Yeah. But aren't you drunk? Like, how, you, how, how do you get responsible? At, because at I just I've been doing it so long. It's, it's, I just it's know a what habit. to do. Like, yeah. I eat, I drink. Like, drink. the the only times I've ever been messed up is when it snuck up on me. Like this particular time when I fell mm-hmm. is because we were already loaded and we were waiting for the girls to get ready, and they were taking so long. Somebody showed up with a bottle of ninety nine apples. <sighs> what the hell, know, hell is what that? The hell that it's, is? It's ninety nine proof. And it's like it's uh, like Mad Dog. No, it's ninety nine proof, and it's uh, what the yeah. hell is Schnapps? And it's but it's it's a, like you know how you have you know oh y'all 40 percent you know forty proof alcohol. Whatever, yeah. that's, this was ninety nine. Okay. So and this and was pre game. We took this five is moonshine. Shots. Yeah, we took five shots, and they were like, "It's time to go." We were upstairs. I took the first step and realized this is pretty steep. <laughs> Oh, you fell down the stairs? So, no, I was run. I picked up momentum, like when you're going downhill. Oh, yeah. And I was just going, I was going, and there was a screen door, and I was like, I'm going through the screen. I'm not, oh, like, this is way more it. funnier than you advertised it. <laughs> so I'm going, and I'm going, and I, I'm like, I'm picking up speed, and they hear me coming down, and they're this laughing already. It's like Looney Tunes. So they're like, somebody, they're like, somebody open the door. I was like, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> so I bust through the screen. Oh my god! Tumble out into the grass, and I'm just laid out in the grass. But I'm dying laughing. You fell from upstairs to the front lawn. <laughs> to the front lawn, <laughs> and I'm dying laughing. As <sighs> I'm laying on the grass, all I hear is, "Oh shit! Oh shit! My boy!" <laughs> you lying. Is stumbling down at the same speed, he flies through the thing. I roll over so he don't land on me. He lands in the he lawn. He landed exactly where you landed. And we're just in the lawn on our backs, cracking up laughing. Y'all had the same momentum oh. and, and everything. And everybody was like, yo, it's time to go. And I was like, I don't know if we're going to make it. No, like, I'm, just, I'm going to lay here in this grass. Everybody see what happened. Oh, my God. That's and we a went lot. to the club. We went to the club that night, too. And you went? And yeah. you still had a good time? Yeah. I, it's hard to recover from getting, like, to your peak. Because that sounded like a peak level. No, it was fine. That sounded like, you know what? I should be home. <laughs> I should be home today. <laughs> I've thrown up. Damn. I've thrown up twice in my whole life. Really? That's period? it. Period from it. from drinking or mm-hmm. just throwing twice. up. Period. Twice. No, I've, from drinking. I think Damn, I've thrown your up. Stats are incredible. <laughs> Bro, I, I do this. Right. I think I've thrown up. Maybe. Well, I, granted, I didn't start drinking drinking until twenty seven. I was nine. I was twenty or nineteen. Yeah, I was, I was twenty seven when I started drinking alcohol. I didn't drink, smoke, do anything because I was like, I just, I didn't need it. Yeah. So uh, I didn't throw up. My first time throwing up, I might have been like thirty two. And it's only wow. happened twice. Mm-hmm. Like where I was like, okay, all right, this this once out. What was once, it? Uh, <laughs> this once out. W- one time uh, off of uh, Incredible Hawks, and oh, that's that's I that remember that night because mistake. me and Farron went at the club. <laughs> oh, why? And I had way too many of those. That was in college. Yeah, more. Have yeah. you had one recently? No, they're nah, disgusting. I would never. I would we never. were we were wilding back then. Yeah, they're disgusting. Like when you you, I I would never try it. But I saw the I just seen the ingredients and I'm no, like, no, I tried it who a makes year that? about two years ago. Is they that the made. blue one? It's that great. A, it's it's uh, that's uh, a and uh, what's the blue and, uh, one? And uh, Aliz- not Hi- Alize, but uh, hypnotic. No. And I tried. I was like, no, I can't believe we drunk this. It was disgusting. I may have had one. Huh? Continue your story. Oh, but yeah, the second time was uh. We were on tour, I think me and Kev, yeah, we were on tour. I think that might have been last year. And I probably had uh, no less than 12 gin and tonics okay. in like a 12-hour period. 12? Oh, yeah. in a 12-hour period. But, yeah, That's most of them, no, you know what? I would say maybe an eight-hour period, right? I had Shit. a couple before the show, a couple during the show, which I never do. I was about to say, you uh, drink when you're on stage? I can't I don't. do it. Uh, well, here's the thing. I will drink when I'm on stage. Like, if it's my first drink, I'll drink. Like after, if we got two shows, I'll dr- I'll have one drink before I can do that, and then I don't have anything else until I perform on my 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 first set, and then if I for the second set, I can have one right before because that one has already started to work its way through and it ain't done anything. Afterwards, though, lit. So I'm I'm always lit after, like immediately after. Oh yeah 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 yeah. But I don't during... get how people can kill like up there drunk. I've I done can't. it. I can't kill drunk. But I didn't like I didn't like it. Yeah. Why? Because you were forgetting or what? I was forgetting a lot, and I also felt like. I wasn't like myself, like as far. You're not as, as sharp. Yeah, because you got to be on your wits when you're when you're coming. Like somebody say something crazy, you got to be able to like hit them back immediately. Mm-hmm. And you are your response time is critically delayed when you're 
off of substance right. or, mm -hmm. or off of alcohol. So I, yeah, I, I don't, I don't like know. it. But they, the, the crowd is dying. But internally, I'm like, I'm messing up all these jokes. Yes, right. And like, I don't feel as huh. fast. I don't feel. And I, I'm trying, I'm so focused on making sure my speech isn't slurred. Yes. That it's throwing me off on everything. And I was like, I'll never I'll never do this again. Jeez. I know better. I knew better yeah. and I should have did better. I didn't. And now it won't happen again. But again, like drinking at home. Is, oh, at the house is, is different. The next, you know, it, event that we do, the next, because we, you know, we're going to move. So we're going to have a housewarming. Yeah. I'm going to. I'm going to be fucked up. That's the place to do it, man. Because it's, like Pat said, it's very, it's way less expensive. Expensive than going out to the oh, club. You don't have to wait to you're drink. You're already your home. Own drink. Yeah. You know what you're spending your money. I I like knowing exactly where my money's going. Right. That's why I use Truebill. And safety. Okay. Oh, Truebill is the yes. new app that helps you identify and stop paying for it. subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forgot about. <laughs> On average, people yes, save up to seven hundred and twenty dollars a year with Truebill because companies make subscriptions hard right. to cancel. And I've, I've experienced this myself. Like, you, you sign up for something on your phone. This is the craziest thing to me. I sign up on my phone, on the app. Right. Then I have to go to a computer to counsel it. Why? I don't understand. Why, why do you make me do it? Why do I have to log into a computer to mm -hmm. counsel this? It is... Uh, so Truebill makes it incredibly simple. All right? You just link your accounts to Truebill, and they would counsel your unwanted subscriptions in one Tap doesn't get any easier than that. And Truebill Concierge is there when you need them to cancel unwanted subscriptions so you don't have to. They'll they'll do all the talking with the people. Nah, I don't want to handle that. Just let just let me stop paying this much money, okay? Truebill has over two million users and helped them save over one hundred million dollars. I'm sorry, I, I yes, I said that right. A hundred million dollars. That's a lot of money staying in your pocket where it should be, especially if you don't even remember mm -hmm. signing up for that subscription. Um, so, if you guys want to start saving a little extra money, because we all do it. We sign up for a free trial one week, two weeks, and we forget to set a calendar alert in our phone, and you look up, you've been signed up for yep. uh, kitchencleaner.com for two years. You're like, I don't even... I don't use that not once. I got so, cancel a few subscriptions. <laughs> <laughs> don't fall for subscription uh, scams. Start counseling them today at truebill.com slash DIYS. Go right now. Again, that's truebill.com slash DIYS. It could save you thousands a year. Literally, just go sign up and see what all you subscribe to. You might be surprised at how many things that you are really signed up for and didn't even realize it or completely forgot about because a lot of things are monthly, but there are some annual ones that come out and you completely forget them. So go right now, truebill.com slash D-I-Y-S and save your money. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, that, was, that was smooth. What were we? Uh, oh, yeah. We so time, man. I, I feel like something that's ha not talked about a lot, especially and I'm, and since I'm a pandemic. transition guy. And I, was, <laughs> I was mid like, yeah, oh, gotta pay, I, the, I, gotta I, pay the bills right I now. I see him <laughs> coming, so now I'm just like, because I feel like I've changed subjects so many times when he was setting something up, and I'll be like, and another thing, Eagles. And he's like, oh, <laughs> shit, I gotta start back over. Yo, that's the worst, because like on ours, on ours, it's five of us. Right. Oh, so God. we're doing ours, so a lot, we got it now, but when we have a guest, sometimes we forget to warn them that we have to do ads. Right, right, yeah. right. So, you know, the, I, I see a perfect. You know, opportunity. Right. I'm like, here it comes. And they're like, yeah, man. So then, then I told the bitch, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't listen to that Amazon. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, but um, that's funny. Yeah, I just try to see him coming. But um, one thing that I learned, um, I would, I would have never done this before a pandemic, but now it might be one of my favorite things. Uh, drunk Netflix. That is fire. Have you ever done that? I have never done that. What I do you drunk. Mean? Netflix. I will say that I do, I do appreciate the Netflix addict that feature where if you don't know what to watch, they'll like randomly select something. Hmm. You can hit like it's basically like a random button and it'll just find something. It's it's on Netflix. It's like if you keep scrolling down, it'll pop up. Like don't know what to watch? Hit this button. It'll, it'll find you I'll something. fix food and everything and then I'll try to find something and by the time I find something, my food is done. Have you ever done that? And you're just yes. Like, you're just like, nah, I don't nah, waste I that's, that's like masturbating. You spend all that time trying to find the perfect clip. <laughs> like page and 102. Then, yeah, then you find it, you're like, I don't even want to. I just actually just got to take a shit now. Right. <laughs> it's all warm in here. Trying to find a good one is like, people think like people watch porn for a long time. You're not watching porn. Listen. For, you're trying mm -mm. to find one 
right. that you like. And like you said, a lot of times you like, oh, fuck it, I'm over it. That's 30 why seconds to a minute and 15 seconds is all I need for the video. Oh, that's I'm why it's crazy that's why you that there's, go on Twitter. there's yep. 15, 20 minute episodes got the good stuff on, on there, Pornhub man. that's like, watch the full video. It's mm-hmm. like, what? Why? You gave what? me 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> like, don't make sure you pay to, to get the full hour. No. It's like, are you serious? I'm not even like her like that. Basically, like, she's not even cute. She's like had a fat Patreon ass. at that point. That's enough. Somebody it's told like, me I something recently that I just realized. I, I didn't know until I looked. What? Porn stars aren't attractive. Not all of them. No, we not just all of like them. what they're doing. Um, and some I of them looked are. at a lot of their faces, and they're not that cute. Yeah, but some of them are. A few. I don't. It's not really about what they look like. Exactly. Though, you know, it's That's about the, It's about but the scene. But I didn't scene. know that. Sometimes the scene that's set up. Is better than the the. Oh the, yeah, the I'm into the, the yeah. I'm into the setup. You know what I mean? The set and it doesn't have to be like I'm not watching the acting and stuff like that. No, I'm just that. like you know what's the situation? I'll tell you something. Twitter, I just I just oh, go to Twitter. Twitter, be having... Twitter, I can't look open. at the name. I can't even, and most of it comes in the morning. <laughs> that's not like, even clever. <laughs> no, I can't launch oh, my Twitter society. in a hospital <laughs> at a public school. Oh, but I you follow oh, these God. pages. No, no, I don't follow. Oh, okay. I was about to say, because they I, don't pop up. I follow people that follow those pages, uh, and those are people who repost the stuff. That's how I found one. And I one. bookmark it or send it to myself. But and if you like, like it, it, everybody else sees that right. you like right. it. So you can't like it. Yeah, you can't right. like it. You know what I'm Because then you look like a, like, you're like oh, right. you're a pervert. Yeah. But yes, Twitter, I am. Twitter, but I yeah. want the world to know that. Right. Yeah, and that's that just seems like a very, like, that's, that's a weird thing. It's like, not so much that people porn. know that you're watching porn. You don't know. You don't want people to know what you're into. Yeah, it's everybody's yeah. watching porn. Yeah, but sometimes, like I remember when Cotty first got pregnant. That's all I watched. With porn, pregnancy porn. Nigga. Oh, I was watching what? pregnancy. I was that. Chicks. I was. It changes from week to week, it, though. Bro. It changes I, from week I've to week. I've never done that in my life. You, she, I had a baby on the way. I was having pregnant sex. So I'm like, well, let me see what it. What I if somebody walked in on me, let me see what they would see. I and like, I got into it. I wow. got. I like. I like everything. Like this week, I'm kind of feeling like threesomes. Like this three, week, three, yeah, because it changes. Do you like, switch up on Sundays? Nah, just like, it just, right, just kind of like, it, <laughs> just, like it just comes to clean sense. the whiteboard. Like, <laughs> right before this, I was into like mature porn. I was finding. Wait, like, wait, wait! How mature? Like 80s? Nah, no, 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 no. Like, like it goes from like, like 60 to like 75. Uh. Like, but I, it's all amateur. I don't want anything professionally Yo, shot. I don't want amateur any. Amateur is better. Amateur is better. It like, seems you're real. Like, these are Bro. real people. Right. This could happen to you. And it, her bra and panty set it doesn't shows imply, me. It doesn't imply a, a, like a crew in the room, which is always weird. Right. Yes. When you see the full bed and there's moving shots, it's like there's at least three other niggas in this yes. room. Yes. <laughs> you ever a lot? Do you ever watch the bloopers? <laughs> no. No. The what's a blooper? Bloopers? What can go if wrong? If you go no, on Pornhub and look at bloopers, just type in bloopers. I laugh for a good hour. Oh man, because <laughs> you 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 don't ah! think about it, but porn has messages. Yeah. like like yeah. getting on the cameraman. And stuff. Bro, what there was one. It was this guy. He's like, where Cam is, right? Yeah. He's going. Ah, oh. all you see is the back of the cameraman. Uh huh. He goes, cut, 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 cut. He turns around and it's in his eye. Oh, was that a joke? Was that a joke? God. He goes yep. cut cut. Dude shot across the room, and he's like, he has a camera still, and he's like, cut cut. Come on, somebody, somebody get this. I've seen somebody they were smashing in a tub, and one dude fell. Mm. I would shoot I've myself seen in the face. Girls if that to like me. pass out. Mm-hmm. I just, like it's it's the pass funniest. Out. Yeah, passed out. Like from getting smashed, or it was too much. I seen one where this dude farted in this girl's face um, oh. on accident. No, it was on purpose. She wow. was about to, you know, toss his salad, and he farted. And it was her response that made me laugh because he farts in her mouth and then she goes, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Takiomi. She says she switches hers every week too. Shout out to Takiomi. She gets it. Because every week you might be feeling something different, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't, sw- I don't have a pro. I just whatever. Whatever I'm feeling at that time, bro. No, I don't have a sex. It does switch. Like I was, I was, like I said, I'm three cents right now. I uh, was immature a couple weeks ago. I don't uh, like the name mature because it implies that everything else is immature. And it's like if if no if the, mature house, it just implies it. it implies it's older, older. Ladies, yeah yeah but like I don't like like how there's they advertise some as like barely legal I don't yeah, like that, that, that I don't yeah. like that shit at all why barely why even not, say I'm anything not I'm not into that shit at all barely yeah. it's like fam what is going on well I, I made the mistake of um this is a long time ago and I've never ventured since but um. If you don't know what you want, or if you're not browsing, and you click categories on Netflix, no, no, Pornhub. Oh, okay. No, I'm still, I'm, I'm still we, in the dirty. I thought we was going back. No, okay, I'm go still ahead, in go the ahead, dirty. Go ahead. 
if you go to categories, it's yeah. fucked up because you see what everyone's into. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Mm-hmm. You just want to search search which, what you you like mm-hmm. and then watch that. Don't there's there's stuff that's so weird that's sounding a- you have to click it. One is just pirate. And I'm like, I well, know I, gotta, I know I what that means. That. No, I, a- I don't watch any of them, but the thumbnails are enough. Like yeah. some I remember one said self facials and I'm like Mm-hmm. Wait what? That's a dude coming on his face. Yeah, I, I got. I listen, didn't, I didn't. I, I'm I feel good. Like the, listen, the I'm, never, I'm never painting my own face. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 there's there's a category for just getting head under tables. That's hilarious. Like secretly. <laughs> just it's just a thing. It's That's like getting hilarious. head under tables. You know what? Well, actually, it's it's funny because like there's those really really bad sketch scenes mm-hmm. where it'll be like. My wife's best friend, oh, and yeah. it'd be like they're all at dinner, and she's just like, "One second, I oh, I dropped a fork," right? And then she's just blowing them but under those the are table. Funny, it's hilarious because he's like doing it, and then and the they're other... acting like they don't know what's going but on. But the the worst acting is the person who's not in the scene because they're just like, "Um, oh wait, let me let me check this cabinet." Oh, and they're like they don't know what to do with themselves, but they're just in the room, and they're like, "Oh, I don't know, baby, just uh, check the check, right. check higher up." And they're like, oh, "I don't know." Have you seen Lauren? It's just like, it's I've so seen worse. Pat one. Um, it was supposed to be like a, a a a butch lesbian having sex with a dude. Oh, that was horrifying. And it was one position where oh, the that was chick so crazy. Was they were missionary? That was so crazy. But the chick like took his and put it that way and then lifted his legs up so she was on top smashing him smashing with him with him with his penis it sounds impossible and like imagine his his legs were up like this and he she was like bow 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 that's weird. so it probably was like it yeah, probably was weird. like that, I got it now right but <laughs> i don't like the angle of that I feel but like, like it's the wrong they're thrust. talking it doing shit. it they're talking doing it and she's like you like that he was like it's it's different <laughs> His legs are. <laughs> you are getting smashed, yeah. little mama. Yo, you got to readjust your frontal after she, that. She asked him a couple <laughs> times, and he kept like, "Yeah, it's it's it's, it's different. It's yeah. something." You are Yo. getting so smacked. <laughs> you are getting smacked. I, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. She might as well pull his hair. Smack him around a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody said that's a great position. Hold on. That's, Wait a that's on you. I never listen. My legs don't even do all that, bro. First of no, all, okay, I'm, I'm thick things as happen sometimes. All right, and you know, you been smashed like that? No, never. But <laughs> it's the, not like you're trying to clean it up right now. The part, well, because you said your legs should never be. It's things sometimes you don't <laughs> like. Let's say, let's say hypothetically, you know, you're a young 19 year old black male playing college ball, you know, and this girl's giving you head, and then she just pushes your legs back, and you didn't know it was coming, and then you accidentally. Oh, you get the booty eight. Get your booty eight, right? And you, you was know, getting the booty eight. You didn't eight? know that that was happening, and then it was already happening. And then you was like, "But this kind of feel dope," and then you yeah. just let it, you let it ride. But let you me tell you something. You weren't prepared for that. I am, she needs to jump off a cliff. That. I don't, I don't think that any athlete while playing ever washes their asshole completely. What do you that washes? Ass, Washes your oh, asshole is a lot of never. She tasted a little forty yard line. Yeah, absolutely. It's no way possible your asshole is is completely removed of all sweat and tastes shit. Like, tastes like scrimmage. <laughs> 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 tastes, tastes like two a days. Tastes like two a days. Yes. Tastes, like, tastes like on the line. <laughs> Some burpees. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like oh, you had practice at five p.m. Huh. That's, that's what they know exactly when you stop practicing. Oh, man. Again, I'm not saying that was me. Tastes I'm just like saying. Gym. No, yeah, that was I heard, you. I heard some things. Yeah. I, I heard that was you. <laughs> I don't think I don't think guys should be so. Uh, I heard some things. So so upset or, or or so so quiet about talking about getting the the, the butt aid. I've been surprised well, a few times. Thing. I got after it happened. It was me, guys. You know that. But after it happened, it'd be weirder if it wasn't. You right. just knew intimate details. <laughs> he just about was there. your homies. What he was, in, he was in the dorm room. He was in his dorm. He was just watching it happen. He was just like, "Damn, that's crazy." That's, I'm gonna talk about after this later. After it happened, I was like, you know, I'm nine, I'm 19, mm-hmm. and I, that ain't never nothing like that. And I, I was like, that, this is weird. I go to, you know, and when you when you go to a junior college, not everybody is of college age, right? Like mm-hmm. some people. Shit happened before, and then they come Have back come to back, school. Right, so right. we had teammates that were like 25, 26. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. You know, we had some people that are older. So I'm like, hey, guys, uh, you know, yes, last night, uh, this girl uh, telling the story. One dude goes, oh, ain't it the best? He was like, and he went into full details about all that the things. That sounded like the uncle of the group. Oh, Bruh. ain't it the best? He was like, sometimes I'll get on the chair. And I was like, wait a minute. Props. Like, 
<laughs> he do the uh, he do the Captain Morgan. He, he went puts his leg up like, <laughs> on he a barrel, like, and then it, like everybody heard us laughing, so more people joined in. So the baseball team comes over, oh, you know, all white, boy, all white boys, yeah, and they start sharing their stories. After everybody else got done, I felt like I was like the noob. The, yeah, they were going in. Oh, I was yeah. like, Yo, so that's what? an athletic thing. Like, I don't. Uh, I that's don't hilarious. Know, They're bro. already stretched and you I know, th- limber. I, 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 I guess. think. I think part of it is like. I mean, I'll, I'll throw entertainment and athletics in the same group, right? Mm-hmm. I think when you do stuff like this, you just happen to meet the freakiest yeah. people. You yeah, know what I mean? Like the, these girls are looking at you like, wow. And then the just you just get the nastiest people like mm-hmm. ever. And then I think that's just what comes with the and territory. They, I feel like they, they feel like it dominates. They're, they're just like, right. yeah. Well, I, I think it. they feel like they have to do it too because everybody assumes if you're an athlete or an entertainer, you're just winning. Yeah. In the in the so why women's that department, the the the, the butt. So they're like, I gotta go above and beyond because uh, everybody he's had has been above and beyond. I got it. That's a, that's a hilarious realization. It's like, you know what? If I'm gonna be in this game, I gotta. I gotta. Ass. I gotta go all out. I gotta and eat they some Because every like, <laughs> gotta take it to the max. <laughs> and they start socking themselves in the chin. Let's go, Carol. <laughs> they, Let's go, they, Carol. They take off their Carolage <laughs> and that guard. Start doing the Ving Rams. Come on. <laughs> Come on, come on. Oh my God. <laughs> bro. I don't I don't I, I played tennis in college. I'm I'm gonna tell you what, I don't miss those days. And I don't even know how we tennis? like yeah, tennis, because we used to do two a days too. I don't even know how we did Anybody our two a days was butt? so early. No. <laughs> our two a days was so early. That means you wasn't good, man. No. <laughs> hey, no, listen. Nobody was lifting your golf shoes nobody and nobody. your shorts up. <laughs> no, no, nobody man. was trying to serve <laughs> you, yeah, giving no. you the old overhand serve. No, forty no, four no. deuce advantage <laughs> receiver. Nothing. Listen, listen. I I'm, game set match. <laughs> I'm just glad I made it through. Got my my letterman. But I think back on those days, on those tour days, and I was like, I don't really know how running. Like when you got to run through something like that, like with no music, it, like just just sheer running because your coach told you to. I don't know how I got through it. Now I'm so thankful that I have my Raycons ah. and I'm able to like listen to my favorite playlist to oh, get yeah. me pumped up to do it. So, cause sometimes you just need that upbeat mm-hmm. like like vibe just to keep keep it going. Like, cause you can get it going, but like keeping it going is something completely doing uh, different. So whether right. it's like through a workout or whether it's through meditation, like sometimes you got to just disconnect from the day. And 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 just meditate and get away from the people around your job or at your house or whatever. So uh, I'm very thankful that I got my Raycons and I'm able to do that because they help me get my day started and keep it going. And they're the best way to listen to it. They come in a bunch. Uh, they come with a bunch of gel tips uh, for your comfort. And unlike some brands, they don't stick out of your ears. Uh, Raycons have a 32 hour battery life, so you can listen to whatever you want however long you want and this just goes all day long like the worst thing you could do is play it on your favorite song and then your your, 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 your listening device goes out you know like that's what you don't want to happen so shout out to Raycon for having a 32 hour battery life uh, and they start at the price of other premium like half the price of other audio brands and they sound just as good so my thing is like if you can get the same quality at half the price why would you not? Why would you Why not would you give not? this a chance, all right? And if you add on that that the 45 day happiness guarantee, you really can't lose. Okay? You give them a try <laughs> and you see exactly what I mean, but let's listen people, trust me when I tell you, you cannot go wrong with a great pair of air uh of Raycons, man. So make sure you check out the Everyday Earbuds and right now I got something special for you guys. What is it? You can get 15% off. Mm. Okay? What? 15 mm percent off you create your own soundtrack 15%? with Raycon right now uh DIY listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash DIYS that's buyraycon.com slash DIYS and save 15% on Raycons one more time that's buyraycon.com slash DIYS oh yes yeah Raycon Ray, anything that Ray J sells I'm gonna listen yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna check. He's it been out. in the business for a while. He's pretty, he's he's pretty good at the, while, so he, the salad. He knows thing. what's going on. All right, but um, back to the salad. 
<laughs> I was trying to get away from it and leave enough space. <laughs> yes, absolutely. I was trying to get away from it and then leave enough space so where it didn't just go into the ad and they like, yeah, toss. Eat and I'm butt. like, eating butt. Uh, I was like, Pat's not getting it. This, Come on, This man. episode is brought to you by eating <laughs> butt. <laughs> and then Keon started two days for the love. <laughs> That's the sponsor. The sponsor is <laughs> eatingbutt.org. <laughs> that's hilarious. That that's oh, a that's man. a that's such a big thing in uh, the athletics. I don't yeah. know. I, I, Bro, it's, I'm it's crazy you. that some women are like looking at a nigga dunk or, or catch a football and they're like, I want to eat his butt. Bro, like <laughs> they was looking at those those pictures of those uh, bike riders for the Olympics, the one that you did the video the one on with the dumpies. Bro, them dudes <laughs> are sitting out there with them things, things. You know, you know what's crazy? There's a lot of yamish on the Me yard. Me just saying that right now was the first time I realized it. Like, what do you mean? Because I never understood like why the women that I encountered in mm-hmm. my life were all disgusting. Mm-hmm. Because it was the athletic. And I, did, athletic I was thing? like, what have I done all my life? I've done athletics and entertainment. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh. Yeah. Like, I thought I was special for a second. And then no, I realized, man. no. It's, it's a fun it's moment. that I do. It's a fun moment, like, realizing, like, oh, you're, you're disgusting. You're but disgusting. then it's also like your second thought is like, how did you learn this? <laughs> <laughs> and I've had that. There was there was one girl, there was one girl who was so nasty. I, I remember that? texting my boy. I was like, "There's nothing on earth that would make me stop having sex with her." <laughs> and then the next day, I was like, "She's disgusting." You said the first thought is, "You're oh, you're disgusting," and the second one is, "You're disgusting." You're disgusting. <laughs> like why so are you doing this? I've had. Why are you so comfortable with this? This ain't your first right. time. How'd you learn no. this? What was the first time? the training? Not the first who, time. Who, who said let's try this? Because to train like, yeah. you have to try and fail. Because like right. what every ninja, every boxing movie, they get beat up for the first thirty minutes. So <laughs> listen, because they gotta learn how to do it by trial and error. Then when you become the one who learns all this stuff and you're introducing it, you're so self conscious. You're like, hey, uh. Wait, you, know, you ever try? I'm gonna go in the closet real quick. I'm gonna grab some things. <laughs> uh, oh, like if they bring out <laughs> let me know what items. You think. <laughs> I was big into restraints and stuff when I was in college. Like I had one that went under yeah, the mattress. Niggas tying you up. <laughs> Why they nope. call it be niggas? <laughs> they call it the rotisserie, and they go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I call it the pig roast. <laughs> Yeah, do this for about two more hours. <laughs> <laughs> they were taking his own sweat and remarinating on it. No sex, no sex, just spin me. That's how you get the flavor. Until <laughs> I'm a golden Let me tell you brown. Pat told me in confidence he likes getting his hair snatched by women. <laughs> <laughs> man, like women be shit, fucking Pat. They be like, "Shut up, bitch!" And be like, oh, no. <laughs> they do this, this thing. <laughs> they get Shut up, two Pat. full rotations around their wrists, and they shut up, bitch. Dirty, Shut up, dreaded man. whore. <laughs> and he, <laughs> and he, he takes that deep breath when they do it too. Like he, they yanking. <laughs> <laughs> Exposes his Adam's apple. Like, yeah. <laughs> you like it? Yes. <laughs> Whenever, whenever a woman gives me like a smorgasbord of freaky stuff, uh-huh. I always pick the safe stuff. But I'm also looking at the unsafe stuff. Like, there's some other shit that you didn't show me. I could tell they probably put the list down. Well, because you got to break them in first. Yeah. Yeah, but it's like some of the stuff that some of these girls are into. Like, how do you even bring know this that? up, or how do you bring this up? Like, I met a girl who used to have like people locked up in her house. I'm sorry. Like the slave yeah. thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah. dudes would come over and get in a cage? Bro, I when I first started I'm working like, for Trump in 2007, my homegirl moved from St. Louis and she was staying in Jersey. She was staying in Trenton at the time. Mm-hmm. I didn't know anybody in New York, so she said I could stay with her and just catch the train into the city. So that's what I did. I get she, to where her was crib. She? New York? Huh? She, she was, in, was in Jersey, but I was going to New York. I get to her crib and she got these big ass kennels in there. I, I ain't ask no question, but I ain't seen kennels, no dogs. Yeah, like, like, a, like dogs dog kennel, okay. right? So, stay there the <laughs> first night. No dogs, I, no I stayed there the first night. No barking. Went, to, went to, to training that day. Came back to a place. It's a new in the kennel and just his draws. And I'm talking about tidy whities, not boxers. Tidy whities just that in there. That part isn't as important. <laughs> nah, bro. Because, like, here's the thing. You think about the type of guys that would wear tidy whities. It's like 40 and up. Like he's an older guy, right? Oh, so he's in the kennel, like like just hunched over, and she's sitting on the couch watching TV. Like this this like human he's not there. isn't there. And I was like, uh, she was like, don't talk to him. He's in trouble. I said, 
I said, you're in trouble because you didn't tell me you had slavery here. And that's when you Don't. called Olivia Benson. And they, they came in. No. No, you still had sex No, with she, told, she told me about it. You she told me the too. whole thing. And I was like, okay, cool. So do you deem me the lead? She was like... No, nah, but was, when he walks out, don't talk to him. Was this someone you were involved with? No. It's oh, okay. just the homie. You know what I love about to hear? There's never any judgment in From any point? story. Or, no, he can see the wildest thing. And he's thing. just like, all right, what are we watching? He's like, you know, <laughs> I, if, that's what you're, if that's what you do. Listen. That's long, a lot. I long, not, not like, you know, ter- like, you know, the levels of terrible that nobody would yeah, excuse. But, like, right. if it's right ter- to hear, be like, Well, I ain't trying to ask no questions. She might put my ass in there, too. You right. said there was kennels <laughs> <laughs> with an S. <laughs> And I don't know what needles and drugs she got. Yeah, you know I don't know if he did that willingly. <laughs> no, nah, but she was she was in she was a dominatrix and like they paid oh, for yeah, that type absolutely. of treatment. So I love talking to dominatrix. This hey, it's just good stories, always good stories. Like you, a nigga came in on his lunch break to be walked like a dog and demeaned. Like think about like all your coworkers when you guys were in like regular jobs right. that just were like, all right, y'all, it's lunch. I'll be back. <laughs> Came back, and with, came back with a good spirit, like <laughs> freshly demeaned. The black dude, I just freshly got called a nigger by a white woman thirty-seven times. <laughs> she beat me. It was why great. is he always hungry after lunch? <laughs> I don't use that time to eat. <laughs> <laughs> you wait, look, like that's the thing when you think about it. How, however many people you know, you know, there's somebody, and I, and I guess I'm talking more in your regular life because in in our life, everybody's so goddamn candid, whether it's on stage or not. Like we don't give a fuck. Yeah. Right? But the average person that you worked at. You know, at your regular job, Gives yeah. somebody in your job, or a couple people in your job, are wild as hell. hell yeah. You have yeah. no idea. Oh, that's why um, it's always like whenever there's a function, like a work function, Christmas party. That's when you really meet. People. Oh yeah. Because when there's like, a, oh my god, I found out that like the corporate world is the f- freakiest group of people. Like, Eyes wide shut. Man, like we would go to like out of town things for like festivals and stuff and like the corporate like marketing teams and all the stuff that we were emailing stuff with. They're just like, yeah, we're going to have like a little after party and like those people were be getting like crazy. Right. And I'm like, y'all just going to go to work tomorrow? Like, I, I used to work at this place. They, I won't say the name, but they sold suits, right? Okay. And the CEO of that place sat next to me at the dinner party and when I tell you, he was so high... <laughs> And so drunk, and he had this little. And when he, the more he got to talking, I was like, "God damn, dude!" Like what? Like, he was like because he was messed he up, was or because wild. he was wild. Yeah, because he was. Oh, he was loaded. Right. He was so high. Like watching him eat actually was disturbing. What was he, he? Was he, was he talking about? High. Was he talking about like wild shit? Just he was just all like whatever you can imagine. Everything's he, on the table. He was the boss, and so you forgot can't say shit to him that we were at. Yeah, and we, he forgot. I don't know how I even ended at that table, mm-hmm. but he like. He was the boss and just didn't give a shit. And well, he was just going. And I was like, huh. Wow. This That's is interesting. This I mean, is... can't fire him. And then a little, the little date he was with was just like, man, man. I deal with this. This is what we do. This and I was is like, him. All right. All right. Cool. So we got to get ready to wrap it up. Because uh, somebody, I think, else got to get in here. And then we also got Cam. So mm-hmm. uh, we got anything we can close with? Anything on a high note? Anything positive? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go with some... Uh... Some positivity. We talked about dirty white mm-hmm. celebrities. Uh, not dirty in the negative sense, but like actual dirty. Um, that was that was the only thing we did talk about. It's pretty yeah. funny. <laughs> every time um, we have a guest, we never stay on track. Yeah, it's, that's that's fine. No, um, I'm sorry. Did I mention? No, no, no. We no, do no, it every no. time. This is this is us. All right, let's let's talk about this. It's, it's not negative, but it's, I just want to know how you guys feel about this. So Dennis Schroeder uh, is an a- athlete. He's trying to sign with the Lakers. Uh, he's being roasted on s- social media because. He turned down an $84 million deal with the Lakers. And I don't know if that was him or his sports agent, like, like saying, thinking he can get more, mm-hmm. um, because he wanted uh, $120 million, and they said, nah, and now he's jobless. This is what happened. Schroeder balled mm-hmm. in, the, in the playoffs. Uh-huh. And he thought, because of what I just did, mm-hmm. I'm going to get this money now. Right. And teams are like, nigga, no. Why, if he balled? Because... He hasn't done that consistently. He's had moments. Like, even uh, when he was with Atlanta, like, he's had moments like, this dude's nice. And OKC, he's nice, but it's, like, not 120 nice. Damn. And so, but he was banking. He bet on himself, and he's losing. That sucks, because it's like, we teach each other to do that. You know right. what I mean? Like, bet on yourself, know your worth, and all that stuff. But when it don't work, that's, it's rough. And I understand why he did it, because he was killing. Right. Because other people were playing bad, and he was, ki- like, he was killing. And it's, it's hard to tell somebody... 
that's killing it who's, who's who believes in themselves to be like that's a lot scale it back yeah but it's but like he probably man because 84 ain't, took it. 84 don't look good next to 120 no, but it, but it's it looked 84. crazy next to zero right. right so it's like thinking about that damn that could have been 84 so now he's probably gonna take it's all he's probably gonna take some 60 right you know what i'm saying when he could have had 84 Mack. on a team that's in championship contention, you know what I'm saying. I so mean, as like, many people that they have on that team right now, it's, it's, it's it should be. And a people cakewalk. be talking about it like it's a super team. These niggas are 36. Old. They're, they're old. Now. 37. Yeah, they're like, old now. And I'm like, you guys are. Uh, that's how I know people just hate the Lakers, and it's not so much the Lakers. Right. They hate all sports. Hate comes from fans. It's not right. from teams. Right. They hate the fans of that team. But people, uh. are, people are calling when they sign Carmelo. They're like, the Lakers are a super team. Just two years ago, you guys were saying Melo shouldn't even be in the league. Right. <laughs> And now it's a super team because wow. they signed a 37 year old that you said Damn. shouldn't be playing in the NBA anymore. Like, are you shitting me? They're not a super team. That's crazy. That's actually a huge hole in like their logic because it's like the same person that you said sucked is now the key factor of right. saying super t- but team. But that's because it's not, there is no logic. It's just, I hate this team because I hate their fans because they're annoying, which is, I get. Yeah. But that's why I don't hate any teams in sports anymore because I realized I was only hating teams because of people. Not the and that's players. Stupid. It's not hating no. the players. No, I think any athlete who gets to that level and does what they do and oh, whatever, great. they're great. Even if the worst player, they're still great. Oh, you know what okay. I mean, I, I don't hate saying. any team because them niggas getting way more money than me. You know what I mean? They I need to figure out my next move. That's Some people are about. on teams riding the bench, making crazy, crazy yeah. money. That's and awesome. that person riding the bench is better than anybody you know. Exactly. Yeah, so you can't better than right. anybody. You can't you even. Know. Cli- you can't even climb. <laughs> They'd be like so and so sucks. Yeah, compared to Kobe and LeBron. Right. right. But, but in any twenty four hour fitness, he's dogging all of you. Everybody. It's crazy. It's not even close. Not even close. Well, listen, man. I want to thank our special guest, Keon, for stopping through. Thank you guys so much. Can you man. tell them uh, where they can find you? Get all your information, all uh, of that. At Keon Poli. Mm-hmm. Uh, Keonpoli.com actually just has nice. my links to everything. Mm-hmm. So Keonpoli.com, you get the links to my Patreon, my all my social media, my merch, every on Keonpoli.com. That's the easiest place to go to get to everything. All right. Well, there it is. And nice. uh, as always, I'm to hear more. I'm Patrick Cloud. And we'll see you on the next episode of Damn Internet. You scary. Hey, shout out to KOS. <laughs>